simple regression in SPSS. Now what if you want to predict brand awareness from exposure to brand advertisements? That is, if we're interested in an asymmetric association with an outcome or dependent variable, brand awareness, and a predictor or independent variable, advertisement exposure. In SPSS, we find the regression models under regression linear. We have to select the dependent or outcome variable, which is brand awareness here, and the predictor or independent variable, exposure. Then we need some additional statistics. Most importantly, we want to know the confidence intervals for the regression coefficients. Well, that's the basic setup that we'll do for now. Let's paste and run. Here is the output. We have a simple regression model with just one predictor, exposure. This regression model explains 21% of brand awareness, and that's quite substantial. This is what the regression model predicts in the sample. But can we be confident that it also helps to predict brand awareness in the population? For this, we do an F test. In this example, the F value will be 15.9, with a P value well below 0 0.001. So we would reject the null hypothesis that the regression model does not help to predict brand awareness in the population. In other words, we are confident that we can also predict brand awareness in the population. Now, finally, let's have a look at the regression coefficients. We see that the standardized coefficient of exposure is 0.46. So we have a moderate to strong predictive effect of exposure on brand awareness. An additional unit of exposure will increase the predicted awareness by 0.4. The 95% confidence interval for the regression coefficient tells us that the increase is between 0.2 and 0.7 with 95% confidence. So it's very unlikely to be zero or absent in the population. And the statistical test that we execute is significant at a 0.001 level with a T value of nearly 4.0. In summary, we can conclude that brand exposure helps to predict brand awareness most likely also in the population. Let us not discuss the assumptions of the regression model. We will discuss them in another video.